all and welcome to another video. Well, what do you think? I got new glasses that aren't crooked. Ah, it's a miracle. <laughs> um, I know they're a little bit different. They're, they're not the round. Last year when I got those, I was like, I just wanted to do something kind of fun and like unique and this year I'm feeling totally the opposite. I just wanted something very basic. <laughs> like I want something basic and neutral that will go with everything. Because that was the problem. Like the blue was really fun. Um, but it like it didn't go with anything. I think these are tortoise shell. <laughs> like yeah. There's nothing like super special about them, but I guess the most special thing is that they're not crooked. Um, I was getting really tired of having crooked glasses. Just, I think, I think I lived with crooked glasses for six months, probably, um, just waiting for the new year so that I could get some help with insurance and all that. So yay, new glasses. Woo. Um, this video today, I want to talk about and review and unbox an 18 inch Adora doll. So those of you who don't know what Adora dolls are, um, from what I understand, they are, um, they're owned by Charisma, is it Charisma Dolls LLC or Charisma Toys LLC? Um, and they've been manufacturing and making dolls since 2000. They're not really known. They do have a line of 18 inch dolls and that's the one I'll be reviewing right now today. Um, and that's not their like most popular dolls. Um, they're more well known for toddler dolls, baby dolls. Um, some of their toddler dolls are super, super cute. And I think those are a little bit more well known, but they do have a line of 18 inch dolls, which made me curious about them. Um, and I kind of wanted to compare them to some of the other 18 inch dolls that I've already reviewed um, and that are out there on the market. So you can purchase these on Amazon. Um, the prices are kind of all over the place. So there were some, also like just to let you know, this girly, she just arrived this morning. This was not one of my favorites. <laughs> um, she was not at all like just based on visually like which doll I was drawn to. She was not even in the top three, um, but she, I got her because she was on sale. She was super duper cheap. Like, so they ranged in price. She was the cheapest at 30, I think. She was 31. Um, like I said, she was on sale, but then there was one with pink hair that I really liked and she was like 56. And then there was another one that was 80. So the prices to me are like all over the place. I'm not really sure why. Um, it could just be an Amazon thing, like depending on who the different sellers are on Amazon. But on Amazon, the prices are kind of all over the place for their 18 inch dolls. So just letting you know, I couldn't find like a set price. Um, this one was 32. She seemed very basic. Um, just sort of like, she just had brown hair and I think brown eyes. I think her name is Alexa. Um, but there were a lot of other options. Like there are a lot of different dolls that I saw and that looked very cute, but I thought I'd get the cheapest one and then I could at least, you know, examine her quality and then it, I would still get a good feel for, um, you know, what kind of doll I was working with because I'm honestly intrigued. I've had some people who compare the quality directly to American Girl and say that it's comparable, you know, that it's a fraction of the cost and it's, they're basically the same. And then I've had other people that I've talked to that said, um, they're a lot cheap, cheaper, like the quality is cheaper than American Girl, um, and maybe even cheaper than Arjun by Batat. So, um... Hi, Charlie. Charlie just scooched her way in. So I'm really curious because the reviews that I read are kind of all over the place. Most people seemed happy with them, but as far as like quality, it was really hard to tell. So anyways, we are going to open up this box. It just arrived this morning. Shipping was super fast. 
um, it was less than 24 hours. So that was kind of cool and fun. So anyways, we are going to unbox and I'm excited. I have no idea what the packaging looks like. Um, so that's always fun. I like a good experience when I'm opening dolls. So um, let's get to it. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and... And so it's not like Journey Girls where, like, if you watched my review of the Journey Girls 18-inch dolls, the box that, the shipping box it came in was actually really cute. Um, I think it said something like, your friend is here, it had flowers on it, it had a design on it. So this is just a plain cardboard box, which um, I'm not shaming them for. But it's not quite as nice as a presentation as the Journey Girls presentation was. If you're into that kind of thing. Not everyone is. Oh, this is a cute box. This is a cute box. And I like, I like that it's a proper doll box. Adora Amazing Girls only at Amazon. Okay, does that mean that it's only sold on Amazon nowadays? That doesn't really surprise me. I feel like a lot of these dolls that started in the early 2000s, like you can only find them on Amazon now. So the box itself is very cute. Um, it sort of has this shiny gold heart. It says Adora Amazing Girls. That's their line of 18 inch dolls. Um, and then it's like light pink and it's got, hi Charlie. Hi. She's like, pet me. You're not doing anything. It's got all these little hearts and polka dots on it. Very cute. And I, I like the box. I like that there's no, um, like, what's it called? Cellof cellophane or that clear stuff that kind of makes it look cheap. I like it when the doll is nice and protected like this. So A plus on the box. Oh, and cute little paper. Oh, okay. I, I, I have to say, I, I like the presentation. I am into the presentation. So here she is. And it's a, yeah, Alexa is her name. Hi, I'm Alexa. Kind of funny that I bought Alexa on Amazon, huh? I am the amazing girl who loves to read. My favorites are those that are based on true stories. I find them really inspiring. Um, okay, so she's kind of a bookworm. That's cool. Oh, look, there's like a, a little summary bio on her. Alexa, bookworm, enthusiastic, vibrant, charming. Cute. Okay. I have to say right off the bat, she does look... Uh, higher quality than I was expecting. So that's, um, that's a plus. And her clothes actually don't look too bad. So we're going to get her out of this box and then we'll examine her a little bit more closely. Oh, ribbons. That's kind of nice. Oh, that's so nice. I much prefer ribbons to things you have to cut. Nice. I really like that. Um, I wonder why they didn't put her shoes on her, why those were separate. I'm sure there's a reason for that. I appreciate that she's, she's obviously well packaged, but she's not crazy difficult to get out of the box. Okay, so here she is out of the box. Um, she feels really good, actually, like really sturdy. Um... She's got to turn in on one leg. I wonder if that's... Okay, yeah, you can adjust that. It's not a big deal. Wow. I First impression here is that this is a, a well-made doll. Um, but, you know, I want to be thorough. So let's, let's see what's going on underneath the clothes. Um, it looks like rooted hair. Wow. 
the roots are really close together. Do you see this? They're so close together. I can't very like tightly rooted. The hair feels nice. I don't know that it's as soft as the Our Generation doll hair. Not quite as soft a fiber, but it's, it is soft and it is shiny. Mm, actually, it does feel a little bit straw-like. So, hmm. So maybe not soft fiber. Let's go ahead and take her clothes off and take a closer look. Okay, so now that she does not have clothes on, um, you can see that she's, she's built very similarly to, um, it's, it's similar to the Journey Girl or the My Life style where, um, her decolletage or her upper part of her shoulders and her collarbone area is all the plastic vinyl so that, you know, she's wearing strapless or if she's wearing, um, spaghetti straps, it looks better. You don't, the cloth isn't showing through, but she also has a squishy part so that she's huggable. Um, I like the design. It does make it a little more difficult to repair the doll, um, to get inside and repair. That's why I like the design with the necktie, um, that American Girl and Arjun does. But I, I do think that you know, for pictures, um, that this is very nice as well. She has quite a lot of articulation in her neck, um, more so than the, um, My Life dolls, because the My Life dolls are more of on a swivel. This one, she can look up. It reminds me a lot of the Journey Girls. Um, if you look, if you watched my review of, uh, Siobhan, she is reminding me very much of that, although her frame is a little bit bigger, a little bit more reminiscent of an Argen doll or an um, AG doll. But she does have that very nice neck articulation, which um, would be great for poses. You know, if you want to do like a little tilted head, a cute moment, um, or like an over the shoulder tilted head moment. Um, you can have her looking up, like into the sky. So very poseable. Um, her arm articulation, there is some outward movement. And of course, there's also the front and back. I would guess that she is built very, very closely to Journey Girls, which makes a lot of sense if you consider that both Adora and Journey Girls are now being manufactured and sold by Amazon. So if they're, they might be even made in the same factory. So that kind of makes sense why they're so similar. Their measurements are different though. Um, leg articulation, there is no outward articulation. Oh, no, I lied. There is outward articulation. Not a lot, but a little bit. And then there is, of course, the swivel. She has pretty sturdy feet. They're not like super delicate, but I'm assuming that she can stand on her own. It's not the, maybe if she had shoes on, she could stand better. Okay, so I put her shoes on and as you can see, she is standing on her own quite easily now. Um, so that's great. She reminds me a lot of the Journey Girls. Matter of fact, I'm going to go get Siobhan so that I can compare them side by side. Okay, so I brought out Siobhan, uh, my Journey Girl, and I'll link in the description box below my unboxing video where I unbox her and do a review of Journey Girls. But I thought it'd be interesting to compare these two side by side since they probably are made in the same factory. Um, they're at least both made and manufactured and sold by Amazon. Um, so, and I'm noticing a lot of similarities in the way that they're made. Um, now with the Journey Girls, obviously they have the more, they have the fixed eyes. So they are not sleep eyes. They are fixed. Um, they're a little bit more detailed. They have the false lashes glued onto the upper eyelid. Um, their proportions are a little bit different. Um, they are a little more slender. They're a little bit taller. Their legs, feet, and hands are a little more on the dainty side. 
whereas the Adora dolls seem to be proportionally closer to the American Girl and the Our Generation dolls. Um, so it's interesting. These are both technically 18 inch dolls, but um, I would say that the Journey Girl is taller. Um, taller, a little bit more slender. They both have the top portion of their torsos in the vinyl um, and then the cloth uh, on the bottom. And then they both have full vinyl legs. So a little bit different proportionally. As far as the articulation though, they are pretty much the same. Um, both of them have the really nice neck articulation. Um, it's sort of on this ball swivel joint. Now with the Journey Girls, um, I can feel it sort of clicking into different positions. So I'm not sure what mechanism they're using. You have the same range of motion, but it's a little more stiff. It feels like it's clicking into place. Whereas with the Adora Girl, it's much more uh, of a fluid motion, um, which is nice, but it also worries me that her neck might become loose a little bit faster than the Journey Girls. Um, if it's just an elastic piece, that definitely might be the case, as with the older uh, Madame Alexander dolls. So, but as far as the rest of their articulation, um, they have the little bit of outward, they have the swivel, and they are pretty, pretty similar. So, um, I think it just depends. The Adora dolls have the sleep eyes. I, I, I think they're very, very similar. Um, it all just kind of depends on what look you're going for and maybe um, what kind of doll you're looking for because... Um, I think there were maybe five or six Adora dolls, and there's also like six or maybe even seven Journey Girl dolls that are available. I personally am drawn a little bit more to fixed eyes because I love how, I just love how lifelike they look. Um, but I have a lot of clients that it's very important for them to have the sleep eyes. Um, most of them have younger children, and I can definitely see, you know, for the pretend play, how it's important to have the the open, shut eyes. Um, so for me as an adult collector, I tend to gravitate more towards a fixed eye look, but I can definitely see why some people really, really like the sleep eyes. Um, as far as the face paint on Alexa here, I think it's really nice. Um, I don't know if you can see, but she actually has blushing on not just both of her cheeks, but also her forehead, which that's that's a more like I would say modern technique. Um, I think it's kind of nice to see on a doll. And she has more of a feathered brow. It's not too sparse. Um, it's perhaps not supernatural looking, but it's it's a nice, lovely shape. She has lower lashes, which is definitely again. Um, kind of surprising. Not a lot of dolls have the lower lash look, at least this full. Um, she has a couple of side lashes here. Um, and she has quite full lips considering they're open. Honestly, she is much prettier in person. Um, I don't think that Amazon's uh, listing page really did her justice. She looked very basic on her stock photo image, and in person, she actually looks quite beautiful. Um, she's really a beautiful doll, definitely worth the $31 I spent on her. She feels pretty high quality. Um, I'm not sure how, she's, how well she's going to last or how long she's going to last, um, especially with heavy play. But, you know, again, if you're thinking that this is a one-life doll and you're just not wanting to spend a whole lot of money, then, um, man, I, I, I don't see anything really negative about the doll other than the hair. Um, I wonder if I can slip this out without messing her hair up too much. Sorry, Siobhan's just chilling there with no shirt on. I should probably put that back. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, I will say it feels better now that it's out and it can breathe a little bit. It feels very similar to the Our Generation doll hair, um, maybe a little bit more straw-like, so not quite as soft, but um, it's not bad. It's, it's nice, and it's quite shiny. I don't know how I feel about like the choppiness to the layers. I think that could have been blended a little bit nicer. Um, but for rooted hair, it's, it's not bad. They did such a good job with the rooting. Well, actually, as I say that, maybe they didn't back here. Look, I'll take a closer look. I should do that. I should look for some bald spots. Because, you know, it looks really great in the front, but I can tell. I can tell. Look at that. Oh. <gasps> Okay, all right. It's all making sense. Alrighty, so the rooting is super tight up here and it looks so, so good. But then as you go back towards the crown to save money, I'm assuming there are, it's spread out a lot more. Um, that is highly disappointing. I I just kind of assumed that it was going to be that same thickness all the way back, but oh, look at that. That's just a ginormous bald spot on her crown. That is a shame. What a shame, because otherwise it's such a lovely doll. Hmm, that is a shame. Otherwise, it is, it's a gorgeous doll, and I would even go so far as to say that it's very nice quality. Um, unfortunately, the hair is just not up to par with the rest of the doll. Yeah, that is, that's a huge disappointment. Um, because our generation, um, their hair is not super thick, but it's very even. And they use high quality soft fibers. So, um, you know, you're not getting a wig and you're not getting like a ton of hair, but the hair that you're getting is high quality. It's very nice. So I, I kind of can forgive Arjun for that. This though, this is disappointing. This to me feels kind of deceptive where it's so nice in the front, but then as you go back, they're just trying to cover up and hide all of the bald spots. That puts a kind of a damper on things a little bit. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put her clothes back on and then we'll talk, we'll, we'll give our final thoughts here. All right, guys, well, it's time for me to give my final thoughts. Um, man, the hair is just such a major disappointment because the rest of the doll and the, the, the box was, was great. I give the box a solid nine out of 10. I give her outfit, you know, probably an eight out of 10. Her outfit is cute. Um, it's definitely, there's been some thought put into it. It's a little dress with the cute cardigan and her shoes. Um, it's not like mind blowing, but there was some thought and effort put into it. Um, it's not just the simple, like one color dress that the Springfield dolls had. So the fact that there's some design and some effort, I give it high marks for, um, her face paint is really pretty nice. Um, probably give that a 7 out of 10. Her articulation, the way that she's built, is pretty nice. Probably give that a 7 out of 10. The hair, though, man, I just, it's hard for me to get over those bald spots. That, to me, is just kind of unforgivable. As a little girl who used to purchase you know, those dollar store Barbies or those cheaper dolls and would be really excited only to find out that half their head didn't have hair on it. Like, and I felt that horrible disappointment. That to me is just kind of, it feels sleazy to like try and cover up bald spots like that. And it just kind of puts a bad taste in your mouth about the whole experience. So to me, I just it's hard to get over that. You know, I guess if you really, really loved, you know, her face paint and the rest of her and her, her articulations, you could always do your own rooting. Um, you could just shave it all off and give her a really nice wig, which honestly I might. Um, 
But for the price point, I don't see it. I certainly wouldn't pay fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty dollars for this doll. I don't see it. Um, especially when you compare them to the Journey Girls. Um, I think if you're wanting a doll that's not our gen, that's in a similar price point, Journey Girls is for you because it's it's very similar. Um, and I'm not saying that her hair is perfect either. But again, it is that soft fiber, that high quality fiber. It feels amazing in the hand. This to me, it feels more straw-like. It feels a little bit harsher, a little bit stiffer. And it has a giant bald spot on the crown. It's just very difficult for me to look past. Um, I love her face paint. I love the blushing on her forehead. It's just really, really upsetting about her hair. Um, so yeah, I don't know if any of the other Adora dolls are, I'm assuming they're all built the same way, but I would not pay more than $30 for this doll. Not with the hair the way it is. If, you know, Amazon decides that they want to start trying more and making the hair a little bit higher quality, then I think the rest of the doll is pretty well done. But man, you just, you have to have good hair. You just have to. <laughs> it's so important on a doll, at least to me, you know, that's because what are you going to do when, what, what's a, what's a child going to do when they get a dolly? They're going to want to brush and play with their hair and style the hair. The hair is so much of the doll and to just, you know, not be able to play with it the way you want to because of all the missing chunks. That's just kind of a big factor. It's hard to overlook that. So disappointed about that. Overall, I would say it's a really nice doll. I just don't think I would pay more than $30 for her um, unless they can fix the hair issue. So Amazon, if you're listening, which I know you totally aren't, um, more hair, please. <laughs> more hair. Um, I think you could charge more too if you did some soft fibers and put some more uh, rooting there, made it more even. You could charge $50, $60, 70 for this doll. She's a nice doll. She just needs better hair, that's all. So anyways, I hope that that was interesting to you guys. What do you guys think about Adora dolls? Have you ever owned an Adora doll or gifted one to someone else? Have you also noticed some issues with the baldness on the top of the head? Um, I don't know. To me, it's like I can kind of look past it and forgive it with the My Life dolls from Walmart because they're from Walmart. They're $25 a doll. For these, I feel like they're a little, they have more of like a specialized boutique-y look and boutique-y feel. And so I think, um, I just think it's a missed opportunity. You know, I think the the box is so nice. The outfit's nice. I like the little bio that they put with the doll. Um, everything is so, so nice, except for the hair. Like just, just do a little bit more with the hair, and I, I, I bet these could sell sixty, seventy dollars. Um, it's a shame, really, and and I honestly don't even know if I'm going to keep her now that I have seen that because, um, because that's just a bummer. I'm kind of thinking about returning her, um, which is sad. I don't know. It makes me sad. She's so pretty. I just maybe I could shave her, shave her, and put a wig on. I would say if there's a big sale and these go on sale, you, you can get one for 30, under 40, then it's probably worth it. But any more than that, it's just hard to justify. But that's my opinion. That's Dr. Doll's opinion. I hope that you enjoyed uh, me unboxing and reviewing the Adora Amazing Girl doll. So what did you think? Let me know in the comments below. By the way, this is your friendly reminder to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, follow me on Patreon. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. Um, I'm always uploading here. And also I have an Etsy shop, Dr. Doll Designs. You can see my latest creations that are for sale. Go ahead and check me out. With that, uh, thanks guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.